Earlier this week, we learned Saskatchewan has hit a grim milestone in the pandemic. More than 1,500 people have now died due to COVID-19. We also know more people in our province have died this year compared to last in the same time period. What does this information tell us about the state of the pandemic? For more information, I'm joined by Angie Rasmussen, a virologist at the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization in Saskatoon. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me, Sam. So as the pandemic drags on, what do death numbers reveal to scientists? Well, ultimately what death numbers do reveal right now is that the pandemic is actually affecting people in different ways, but more than anything, it means that more people are getting COVID than ever before. Um, and including more high risk people are getting COVID than ever before. And this is really uh, due, I think, to, to three major things. One is that we have a new variant uh, that's circulating, or it's not really new, but uh, a more recent variant, the Omicron family of variants, are capable of evading the vaccines uh, to a greater degree than previous variants. So they're infecting more people. Second, um, we have a lot of people who have been fully vaccinated, but who have not gotten a booster dose, which really does increase protection against both infection and severe disease caused by Omicron variants. And third, we've really relaxed a lot of those other measures that were in place to reduce the spread of COVID-19, including things like vaccine requirements and mask mandates. And uh, those three things together have ultimately led to more people getting COVID, which means that more high risk people are getting COVID and they may not have the booster shot that will provide them with extra protection against COVID. Saskatchewan is a different place than it was this time last year. More people are vaccinated now than they would have been this time last year, but more people have died in the same time period. What does that tell us about the impact of those variants? So the, the impact of the variants is huge, and it really is one of the main reasons why uh, we are still seeing so many different, so many COVID cases, as well as so many deaths from COVID. Um, these variants are simply capable of uh, evading some of the immunity that's induced by the original recipe vaccines, as it were. Um, so that just means that if there are more opportunities for the virus to spread, people, even vaccinated people, are more likely to become infected with the virus. And that includes, again, people who are at higher risk for developing severe disease. What should people keep in mind as we move into, well, fall, winter, indoor seasons? People really do need to keep in mind that being indoors, uh, as we have to be here in the winter time in Saskatchewan, um, is is really associated with more and more transmission. So the, the thing that I encourage everybody to do is if you haven't gotten boosted yet, you have been fully vaccinated, um, go out and get a booster shot. Um, at least three months after you've recovered from COVID or your most recent dose of the vaccine, but go out and get that booster shot because we actually do have a lot of data that supports that those boosters really do improve protection, including against the Omicron variant. And then I would encourage people also to continue taking precautions, even though they may not be mandated. So continue to be mindful of gathering with large crowds and indoor spaces, continue to be mindful about being in the most ventilated spaces that you can be in, consider wearing a mask when you go out into public spaces, and continue to use rapid tests to, uh, to monitor yourself and your symptoms. And then finally, um, there's one other thing that actually doesn't have to do with COVID, and that's influenza. Um, we know from data in the Southern Hemisphere that we might be expecting a, a fairly bad flu season this year. So I do encourage people, in addition to getting a COVID booster, to go out and get your flu shot so that you have maximum protection against that virus as well, since it largely spreads in the same way that COVID-19 does. Angie, thank you so much for your time and for your work. Thank you so much for having me, Sam, anytime. Angie Rasmussen is a virologist at Vito in Saskatoon.